I usually try and get my news outside of mainstream media. Um, I do like reading mainstream media because I like seeing what the general narratives are. Um, but I um, recently have made a conscious effort actually not to watch it because I find that it takes more time and energy for me to deconstruct the lies or untruths that I've learned um, or misinformation that I've learned than actually you know, uh, using it to help me to see what the straw men are in um, you know, a political debate or a historical debate or current events debate. Um, so just kind of being conscious of my own um, kind of um, ab ability to be um, swayed or biased. Um, by information that doesn't have a stance or a grounding um, in fact or reality. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, I often resort to independent media news sources or um, perhaps personalities and, and people, um, reporters, who I trust um, to have a nuanced view or to present uh, facts to me in a way that are digestible, that I can critically think about them. Um, and I think first and foremost, um, also, or I should say maybe as well as, um, it's really important to prioritize news from the grounds and citizen journalists. And, you know, there's always this argument of, well, you know, citizen journalists have great information, but they don't, they're not smart enough, they don't have the tools to really analyze it. Um, I mean, I think that's the same thing about um, telling people of color that they can't talk about the discrimination that they feel because they've never taken a class on racism or race dialectics, right? So um, I think, you know, we really have to empower people to tell their own stories um, on the things that they are feeling, whether or not they have been, um, you know, systematically taught a, a form of um, critical analysis or not. Um, I think we have to honor that and empower them to do that and, and you know, they, they will, they'll empower themselves, but part of our role is also listening to them um, and taking our cues from the people who are experiencing it on the ground. And I think in that way we can be really conscious of the, kind of, the types of news that we um, take in and, and um, you know, privilege for our own benefit, but also um, in order to really bolster um, citizen journalism and, um, you know, um, something that's more than a resource. It's... Um, it's a now, it's a spirit, it's an energy, and it is uh, the future, and it's not outside of us. Um, if we're not informed, if there's no education to our action, what are we doing? Um, we always have to know before we do. Um, and that sometimes takes a longer process, but when, you know, th there's a saying in um, my community, which is, uh, they can come and they can take everything from you, but they can't take away what you know. So they can jail your body, they can't take your soul. And so I think we have to protect that. Um, and that, so in, in absorbing news, I think number one, we have to think about integrity and every meaning of that word.